Hello and welcome to a new video. This one is about uh, the Herdbreit volcano uh, <coughs> and the whole region which had uh, no swarm of earthquakes in the past few days. So what we have here are, are all the earthquakes since 2004 and until February 2017 uh, of magnitude uh, 0.5 and above. And of course, down bottom here, we see the large magma emplacement, which happened under the Uptipinga volcano. I think it's pronounced that way. I'm not sure. This deep emplacement was between 50 to 20 kilometers, and it ended at about 14 kilometer depth. This happened in 2008, I think. We also see a lot of deep activity here, southwest of Herdebrei. Now, what we also see is that there is a lot of activity focused between around 3 to 13 kilometers. Now, the outlines above, this is the outline of the main uh, mountain, not the whole lava field, but just the the main uh, mountain, which is very, very steep, actually, very good looking. What we can see right away is that we have these lines of earthquakes, kind of like fissures or like small faults, even. So I don't know how it's actually <coughs> classified. It's like a, a mini fissure swarm, kind of. Also in the vertical, we can see that we have these lines of earthquakes, kind of like large cracks, actually going actually quite deep, down to around 15 kilometers. Now this is a view from the south, looking up north. You can see this batch of deeper earthquakes here. This is the magmatic emplacement in 2008 under the Uptipinga uh, volcano, this large seismic field. Now I'm going to shut off these earthquakes and I'm going to plot only the latest uh, swarm of earthquakes in the past few days, see how that looks like. <coughs> okay, you can see that it goes up to around 3 to 2 kilometers down to around 10. Now it's also a nice vertical stack but it's also linear in the same orientation as the other uh, stacks of earthquakes that are older swarms that have happened in the past few years in itself it's nothing special but it's actually a very nice vertical stack I'm going to activate uh, all the earthquakes now I have made the older earthquakes small you know, small dots and the larger dots are is actually the latest swarm which happened in the past few days so you can see how it's positioned compared to the older activity and it's actually in the region of you know of previous earthquakes previous swarms so it's not a new swarm, but you can see that this region was quite active before as well. I'm going to <coughs> increase the size again, so we can have a look at the full picture again. Okay, now this is a look from the west. It's like if you would uh, go at uh, Askia and look east towards Herdebeid. We see <coughs> a lot of deep activity uh, southwest of Herdbeid. We see this large emplacement which happened in 2008. Now, in the first glimpse, there's not that much connection with this emplacement in 2008. It has its own separate feet and it ended around you know, 14 kilometer depth. Now there are stacks of earthquakes, which could be, you know, magma moving forward. 
but the swarm, the large swarm it inherited by it seems to inherit its own feed, its own deeper system, or deeper feeding system, if you wish, which does look a bit more, you know, connected. This is a bottom, bottom up view. You can see the earthquakes go right down to 25 30 kilometers which is pretty much caused by you know intruding magma now the question is how much of it has actually reached the mid system the mid and the upper crust system of this uh, volcano given the amount of earthquakes in its placement we could say that there was probably quite a lot <coughs> of magma movement in the past thousand, two thousand, ten thousand years. There is an article written on the Volcano Cafe blog about this volcano and the recent activity, which I really recommend. Uh, it, it contains very nice information. I also say we see that the deeper feeding system, which is actually southwest of Herbert and this <coughs> secondary <laughs> volcanic feature which has a similar name but I'm not even going to try and pronounce it so the most obvious thing is this linear shapes which we can see individual swarms of earthquakes <coughs> the latest one is in this region and of course the deeper activity very deep earthquakes to the southwest but very apparent connection all the way into the main area of earthquakes so this could very well be uh, <coughs> not purely magmatic but you know magma filling the gaps when the cracks form there is some you know earthquake activity between the deep deep earthquakes and the middle to upper crust swarms so if we, again if we look from the south we do see that this essentially looks like quite a developed volcanic system actually but what it lacks is uh, shallow earthquakes and we do see some but the most you know the biggest energy release is between 3 and 15 kilometer depth <coughs> so this could very well be a region of dikes and sills now I have changed the color scale <coughs> in the color table just for a better better feel of it I'm just still just experimenting with the colors so obviously the more red colors are associated with deeper quakes which are mostly magmatic in origin the story is the same you see this lines of earthquakes and this deeper activity here to the southwest If I plot the latest swarm again, we do see it's actually a very narrow and a bit long swarm stack, but it could very well be, <coughs> you know, a dike forming or, you know. This peculiar, actually. We also have some quakes here. Now I'm going to change the color quickly of the older quakes uh, to single color so you can have a feel of the whole thing. Yes, yeah, so and now we see that this latest swarm is, as mentioned before, in a region with it had earthquake swarms before in the past. You just have to watch it progresses and the activity goes towards the surface. Thank you for watching.